हेलो 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 आई चेक हेलो 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 आई चेक माइक ऑन करे ब्लू ब्लू
किरण किरण
Okay, students, uh, we send our parents to assemble in the same hall for parents teacher meeting at 3 p.m. Okay, it's only for parents. Students are not allowed in that. Let's 
We request for the technicians to be seated as we move ahead of the program. Considering the social distancing norms and precautions necessary for safety from COVID 19, we have to handle the participation of our technicians. It's been over 140 years that Sir Bairam Ji Ji Jibar founded our college. Since 1878, BJJMC has been aspiring thousands of students to pursue their dreams, to become doctors, and serve their society to its fullest. Apart from being one of the top family colleges in the community, our college has a rich history of cultural activities, sports events, developmental research activities, and other extracurricular activities. These will definitely help you become a good person before being a good doctor. Moving ahead, I call upon Dr. Anjali Patel, ma'am. Professor and Head of Department Anatomy to address you all students. Very good morning to all. The respected Dr. Deputy Dean, Dr. Kari Sir, all the dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, the respected parents who are online, and dear students. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome the parents and students to BJGMC Guru. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate you all first for securing the good score in me and second for choosing this renowned and prestigious BJ Government Medical College. Every year, Dean's address takes place in the month of August rather than the first August. But because of delayed admissions, because of COVID pandemics, we are having this year's Dean's address now. Despite seeing the efforts put in by our doctors selflessly during this COVID pandemics, I am very proud that you have chosen to take admission for these goals. I am very proud that you will become a dedicated doctor who will truly share our world to come. As an HOD of Department of Anatomy, I would like to emphasize that we are very strict with academics as well as attendance. I ensure the parents that their children are in safe hands. But I also insist that the parents should have the watch on their child's activities. Dear students, you may have been in your school, college, or district talk. But however, now you are at a place where all the talkers from all over the country are present. But don't get pressurized by your peers. Rather, you should work as a team and help each other. Students, you can take guidance from your seniors. They are very helpful. They are the ones who are your guardians over here. 
Only they demand is respect. So you respect to your seniors as well as your teachers. They may be harsh or strict at times, but do keep it in mind. It is for your development. Regarding anatomy, that which books you supposed to buy, what is syllabus, what will be the exam pattern, how many exams are there, then what is the calculation of internal assessment, what is ECE that NMC has introduced, that is early clinical exposure, what is SPS, that is the self-direct learning, everything will be discussed in detail during the orientation of the department. Last, but not the least, our medical administrator, our respected dean, Dr. Kambesar, is always there to help and guide us. So I will again congratulate you all. Stay healthy, happy, and enjoy. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Akira I'm sure the students will enjoy your memory. I now call upon Dr. Prashant Sarudika, Professor and Head of Departmental Theology, to say a few words. Uh, respected Dean Sir, Dr. Mudlida Kambay, uh, Deputy Dean Sir, Dr. Rajesh Karyakarte, all the dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, all the parents who are online and my dear students, a very good morning to all of you. At the outset, I would like to congratulate you all for getting an admission into this prestigious institute of BJ Government Medical College and Sassoon General Hospital Pune. Since last one year, you must have been bored sitting at home and spending most of your time online. And you must have been eagerly waiting to start your journey into the medical college. And finally, that day has arrived today. And as Madam has already told, for the first time, Dean's address is occurring in the month of February. And the academic year is starting in the month of February. That is how Corona has changed every aspect of our life. So since last one year, two major changes have occurred in the field of medical education. The first change is that the competency-based medical education has been implemented in all medical colleges across India as per directions of MCA. And there are many changes that have occurred in the medical curriculum based on the CDNE or competency-based medical education. You will come to know about these changes in your subsequent journey, subsequent classes. But to highlight the few changes, the first major change is the duration of your phase one or first MBBS has been increased. For last year, it was 30 months. One month of foundation course at the beginning of academic year and 12 months of academic year itself. For you, the foundation course will not be conducted separately and your academic year has been reduced by one month, so it will be of 11 months. And all the elements of foundation course will be taught to you over this period of 11 months. So earlier we used to have only eight or nine months for the first MBBS. Now this duration has been increased. It's a very much welcome change as you will get more time to learn your basic medical subjects like anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry, which are the pillars for all the clinical subjects, all the medicine and allied branches and surgery and allied branches. Second major change is about the introduction of ACTOM modules. So ACTOM is Attitude, Ethics, and Communication. The different modules have been developed by MCI, and over all the four phases, 
till the end of your third MBBS, you will be taught all these four modules and there will be assessment of all these modules. Earlier, there was no formal teaching and assessment of extra modules. It's again a welcome change because for to be a good doctor and to maintain healthy doctor-patient relationship, it is very much required. Along with that, there are other changes like introduction of self-directed learning, early clinical exposure, electives, changes in assessment, and so on. So about these changes, you will come to know as you proceed further. Okay. Another major change that has happened since last year is amongst many, many government medical colleges, the intake capacity has been increased. So in our college, since many years, we used to admit 200 students. Now, since last year, we are admitting 250 students. So in this era of physical distancing, it's a big challenge for us to accommodate 250 students, keeping in mind all the safety precautions. So we expect every cooperation from you all. We are already working hard on this, how to accommodate this, all the students, keeping in mind all the safety guidelines, but we expect every cooperation from you all in this regard. So from today onwards, we will start your actual teaching for the first MBBS. The details will, you will come to know, but the timing roughly, it will be from 9 to 5, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, and 2 to 3 will be your lectures. So keeping in mind, again, the distance and the number of students, at present, your lectures will be in this auditorium. And 11 to 1 and 3 to 5 will be your timing for small group teaching, practicals, group discussions, dissection, and so on. So in this timing, you will be divided amongst all three departments. So you will get oriented as you uh, proceed further in your uh, classes and various departments. So about physiology itself, what are the books to be read, what are the other uh, things like internal assessment, exam pattern, and so on, we will give you brief uh, briefing about that in the respective department. Okay. So once again, I congratulate you all and wish you a good luck for your journey ahead in the medical field. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for welcoming words and briefing the students about the new curriculum. I now request Dr. Somnath Salgar, sir, professor and head of department biochemistry to address you all. Respected Dean, Respected Dean, Dr. Nilidhar Kamishtar, Deputy Dean, Dr. Rajesh Karikate, sir, dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, esteemed faculties in MGA, Students Council 2019-20, and my all dear students. A very good morning to all of you. I congratulate all newly admitted students for choosing prestigious BJ Government Medical College having legacy of 74 years. I welcome you all on behalf of the Department of Biochemistry for joining this BJ family. BJ GMC is nurturing for academic excellence as well as for extracurricular activities. I feel nostalgic today. I recollect flashback memories of my student days. I even remember my Dean's address on 28th October 1994. I was sitting on that side in NGA. On this very first day, I want to tell you, I want to assure you that all faculties of biochemistry department are there to teach you, guide you, support you, and help you for your curriculum. That is competency-based medical curriculum. We all are your mentors. I am not only your teacher, but also senior in the profession. I expect you to be regular and punctual from day one. Sincerity and consistency in your studies is key to success. So be regular, be consistent, work hard, and get reward in terms of academic excellence. There is no magic formula for the academic success. 
determination, dedication, and discipline are essential to become distinguished doctor. Swami Vivekananda has rightly said, arise, awake, and don't stop till your goal is reached. Remaining details about biochemistry subject, books, examination pattern, and all other details like CCA, I will discuss in my tomorrow's lecture. In case of any problem, approach us without hesitation. BJ Medical College campus is like a gurukul. Once again, I welcome you all and wish you very best for the future. Time management is key to the stress management. I can empathize with you that being a medical student is a stressful thing. So this is your second home and we are here to help you. The bond with Alma Mater has now been established today and this bond will remain forever lifelong. Alumni of this institute for the last 70 years are making the reputation of the institute all over the India, all over the world. So I want to conclude my speech with the quote of Dr. George Washington Carver, start where you are with what you have, make something of it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for moderating us and showing us the next step forward. I'm now going to talk about the Amara Alma as a student body and the ladies of the student have a lot of you. Respected Dean Sir, uh, Deputy Dean Sir, uh, Rector Sir, and uh, all the HODs of uh, first year subjects and all the dignitaries of the guys. Uh, very good morning to all students. I first want to congratulate and welcome you all for getting admission in this prestigious, you know, institute that is BJ Medical College and Sundar Hospital. I can exactly understand the feelings you are going through right now because some years back, I was sitting uh, in your place and experiencing the dream which we witness right now in the form of Dean's address for which we study so hard, we struggle so much and finally our dreams come true and we are here. And so I'm working as warden at Ladies Hostel at Block. Some of the students uh, I talked with yesterday. So I mainly focus on the hostel uh, facilities and uh, main hostel issues. Uh, we have two blocks at Ladies Hostel, main block and F block. So first year students uh, are staying at F block. Uh, we did a room distribution yesterday and some uh, formalities are completed. Uh, we are uh, sorry for the inconvenience uh, which you have had to go through for uh, some payments right, in bank. So that issue was solved yesterday afternoon and today uh, there will be no problem in paying the amounts in the SBI main branch. Okay, so let your parents know uh, the main concern of parents and you students is about ragging and how will be your hostel life, right? So I assure you, your hostel stay will be quite exciting, safe, secure, and we, with the help of all the uh, respected teachers, our uh, uh, dean sir, and all the wardens. You will be very safe at the hostels. There will be no, uh, we can say, instance of ragging or any kind of torture or any kind of stress during your stay. We have anti-ragging committee set up over here. So if you have any complaint, any problem, any emotional, psychological, physical, or any study-related problem, 
you first contact us there are uh, wardens staying at the each block okay so you can directly go to their room you can tell your share your problem if it is not solved at that level you can go to your teachers okay you can go directly to rector sir or you can directly go to any uh, official which is responsible for you okay so before you share your problems with parents share them with us we will definitely solve them on this spot and we can we can uh, what are solutions we can find out we will try our best okay then there are some uh, issues uh, related to uh, ladies hostel we will discuss them in detail in the evening meeting at the hostel with ladies, all the uh, girl students but there are some main concerns which i want to uh, share with parents also so first thing there is issue of safety being a uh, uh, girl students so one thing you have to remember always be in time to the hostel okay so we have uh, in time uh, limits at the ladies hostel it's 9:30 so before 9:30 pm you will have to reach your respective block and there will be attendance in the evening every day at 9:30 after which you cannot leave the hostel okay so each day at 9:30 there will be attendance at your block you have to sign the attendance and that attendance is uh, checked every day in the morning okay so whenever you have to leave for home or anywhere out for any uh, work or purpose you will have to first take permission from the officials rector sir your parents permission letter consent letter should be attached to it and then only you get the permission to stay overnight outside or uh, at home okay there will be registers various registers kept at the hostel entrance with the security guard a uh, home entry register is also there whenever you go out uh, from the city right out of station you have to enter in the register the place where you are going the contact number to whom you are going and your own contact number okay so any problem arises we should be in a position to help you right okay so these are very small things but you have to follow all these instructions carefully okay then when uh, you come from the uh, hospital to uh, or college to hostel uh, come in the groups initially as you are new to this place you should be in the groups not alone on the streets uh, right after 7 or uh, late so you should take uh, care of these things then about facilities at the hostel we have cooperative mess which is uh, run by uh, mess management committee uh, which is uh, made up of uh, students of second year okay so uh, they um, all the finances menu or whatever problems all are looked after by mess management committee by the students okay so uh, there is also hostel management committee third year students are the members of uh, hostel management committee they arrange all the uh, finances or whatever cultural events or uh, room distributions all these things are taken care by hostel management committee so uh, these are the things which we uh, promote for developing skills leadership skills or management skills among the students right among you so you should participate you should uh, actively participate in such events and uh, you if you face any problems kindly contact us we will solve your problems okay uh, i stay at f block my number uh, will be displayed at the hostel block so whenever you have any problem directly meet me and inform me okay so i welcome you again and thank you thank you ma'am for welcoming box i'm sure the girls will feel home even at the hostel 
and our employees, Dr. Ajay Tawari sir, medical superintendent, sports advisor, and chief rector of all hostels to guide us. Respected teacher, respected teacher, all the privileges on the rise, on the rise. All the students, their parents, as a medical student, as a director, as a sport advisor, I welcome and congratulate all of you for getting admission in this glorious BJ Medical College. Referring hospital, Dr. Sasun Gunale. गेल्या काही वर्षामध्ये आपले माझे अधिष्ठात आणि आत्ताचे सहसंचालक डॉक्टर यांच्या अथक प्रयत्नातून आणि डॉक्टर तांबे यांच्या मार्गदर्शनातून गेल्या काही वर्षामध्ये आपण अपूर्णांक बदल झाले शिक्षण रुग्णालयामध्ये आपण जवळपास शंभर कोटी रुपयांच्या बरेच सी एस एम मधून पैसे ससूनसाठी आणलेले त्यामध्ये मुकुल मागून फाउंडेशन तर्फे एन आय असेल किचन असेल मानुषण धारीगाव यांच्याकडून माझ्या त्यांना हे ठिक असेल इन्फोसिस दिलेली सुपर स्पेशालिटी बिल्डिंग असेल असे बरेच उपक्रम आपण ससून रुग्णामध्ये हाती घेतले आणि त्याकडून आता यशस्वीपणे चालत आहोत त्यामध्ये डॉक्टर हरीश साठे आणि बाकी टीम यांचं खूप मोलाचं सहकार्य आणि त्यांचे खूप अचक कष्ट आहेत त्याच्या भावात तर मी सरकारचं त्यासाठी आभार म्हणतो आणि आपले कोविड बिल्डिंग अकरा मधले कोविड बिल्डिंग आहे ते महाराष्ट्रात आता एक नंबर कोविड बिल्डिंग आपले जे ससून कोविड हॉस्पिटल जे आहे महाराष्ट्रात कुठंच इतक्या हाय क्वालिटीचं तिथं जे फायव्ह स्टार हॉटेल सारखी तिथं फॅसिलिटी आपल्याकडे आहे आणि जे दुर्गा हॉस्पिटल असेल धर्मीर हॉस्पिटल असेल जे मोठे मोठे हॉस्पिटल असेल त्यांना लाजमेल असं आपलं कोविड हॉस्पिटल आहे तिथं आपण सर्वांसाठी आपल्या स्टाफसाठी डॉक्टरांसाठी स्टुडंटसाठी व्हाय पी एक पूर्ण वॉर्ड ठेवलेला आहे आणि इतर सर्व अत्याधुनिक सुविधा तिथं दिल्या आहेत आपण त्यामुळे ह्या कोविड पॅन्डेमिक मध्ये सगळ्यात जास्त सिनियर सिरियस पेशंट पूर्ण पुणे जिल्ह्यातून पुणे शहरातून जवळजवळ सातार सातारा जिल्हा असेल सांगली जिल्हा असेल नगर जिल्हा असेल सोलापूर जिल्हा असेल तिथून आपल्याकडं सगळ्यात जास्त सिरियस पेशंट आपल्याकडे आलेले आहेत त्यातून बरेचसे पेशंट आपल्या इथून किट होऊन गेले आहेत त्यामध्ये मेडिसिन डिपार्टमेंट अँडस्टेस डिपार्टमेंट पनवेल मेडिसिन डिपार्टमेंट या लोकांनी अहोरात्र खूप कष्ट केलेलं आहे आपल्या डीन सरांनी गेल्या सात ते आठ महिन्यामध्ये एक एक सुद्धा सेल घेतली नाही इव्हन ते दर रविवारी असतील रविवार असेल दिवाळी असेल दसरा असेल प्रत्येक सणाचे वीस सर तिथं स्वतः असायचे हजार त्यामुळं आपलं एक कोविड पॅन्डेमिकमध्ये बरेच हॉस्पिटलचे कुठल्या म्हणजे बऱ्याच हॉस्पिटलमधून त्यांच्या काही उन्हाळ समोर स्पष्ट झाल्या परंतु आपल्याकडे एकतीस सिस्टीम चांगली आहे त्यामुळे कोविड मध्ये इतकं कोविड पॅन्डेमिक अजून चालू आहे बरसात संपत आला तरी सुद्धा आपल्याकडं एक म्हणजे कुणी सुद्धा आपल्याला बोर्ड दाखवलं नाही इथे एक आपले हे काही अभिमानाची गोष्ट आहे आपल्यासाठी आता तुम्ही एक युवा दार्ट ऑफ हिस्ट रिटर्न इन्स्टिट्युशन विल बी विथ यू ऑल अलॉंग अँड you are for your life then you all should feel proud of this your journey is starting now and we all are here to guide you and to support you to make your journey more exciting and easier patra college ase tar apna kada mulan sathe ani mini sathe separate hospital hai mulan sathe after six months we have separate d block and for little still as an outside by uh, sapna there is a separate time for uh, ladies hostel ladies for first stage students we uh, good quality food and clean drinking water to provide me there is cooperative mix scheme is there which is run by our hostel management committee so uh, it is uh, based on no profit no loss basis so uh, there is special uh, reading room is there in boys hostel on the top floor of a building then we have this hostel management committee the committee is uh, uh, made up of students the students are selected and leadership qualities to integrate administration administration and university etc so this uh, hostel management committee looks up the hostel clearances facility availability and students for rooms etc 
they organize culture activities like dandiya coastal premier league then indigenous coastal week etc i ensure rising free environment and coastals there is separate dividing power for one just state then uh, there is a security guards on the both uh, uh, entrance and exit of the boys state if any complaint is there contact wardens teachers counselors or direct contact me i'll be available at uh, superintendent office or you can uh, get my number uh, or otherwise otherwise i will share my number with uh, our wardens then there are uh, some guidelines we have to strictly follow these guidelines which are uh, by uh, uh, national medical council so these guidelines for students parents and visitors are physical distancing of at least 6 feet to be followed use of mask is mandatory frequent and washing with soap and use of hand sanitizer is compulsory respiratory etiquette to be followed strictly like covering mouth and nose by sneezing the thing strict prohibition of spitting on campus installation of and use of always to have self monitoring for example health very important for students they should inform their friends wardens or teachers or direct talk to me if they are having any health issues complaints or covid related symptoms or any emotional or psychological problems then go to contact you can contact covid health groups psychological counselors teachers wardens selectors in any case of any problem then some safety measures for at the hospital premises are there use of mask is compulsory hand sanitization is compulsory compulsory then uh, necessary measures for successful implementation of social distancing that is very important then uh, we provide bathroom facilities ready to at all blocks so that there will be no connectivity problems for online lectures online teaching learning arrangements then we provide covid vaccinations to all the students so you can uh, use this facility then isolation and quarantine facilities there in the hospital hospital premises then uh, some instructions are there for uh, students they should follow all the instructions of social distancing using a mask then uh, sharing of books tables learning materials etc should be strictly avoided avoid crowding junk food unnecessary outside visits they have to handle hygienics you should be mentally and physically fit support your friends and uh, under stress do exercise yoga sports eat fresh foods green vegetables to boost your immunity we are also arranging uh, psychological counseling in every week on thursday in the afternoon at 3 pm in the hospital campus so i thanks to uh, hod uh, secretary for providing this uh, psychological counseling then as a sport advisor we have very big ground near the uh, commission office uh, holy commission office in the heart of the city that is in the camp there we are uh, we are having uh, uh, very big uh, gymnasium basketball court very big ground then uh, our badminton court is one of the best in the pune city many of the is officers ips officers wants to and they easily comes to play uh, badminton uh, and they are our uh, badminton court so i again congratulates all for getting this uh, getting admission in this hospital thank you before we move forward i would like to welcome dr kinta ma'am professor and head of department of pediatrics dr samrai ma'am professor and head of department of medicine dr bosle sir professor and head of department of obstetrics and gynecology dr chavan sir professor and head of department of dermatology dr janjar sir professor and head of department forensic medicine and toxicology dr thorat sir dr gavli ma'am dr gaikwad ma'am and all the dignitaries present on the dais for their valuable presence respected deputy dean yusuf dr rajesh parekar sir professor and head of department of microbiology 
has contributed towards the online teaching program during this pandemic. Even when all of the staff was working day and night towards the COVID-19 crisis, so ensured that we students won't face any academic loss. He, along with all the HODs, came up with the online teaching program. We are really grateful for that, sir. We request you, sir, to address all our students. Thank you very much. I welcome you all students to the J. Medical College of the Hospital. You have come in the best institute in Maharashtra and one of the best institutes in India. You have worked hard for it, toiled for it, well done. With the permission of the team, Dr. Nandesha, I would like to continue now. On the stage, we have the senior faculty, Dr. Anjali Patanar, she is the professor of academic department. You will be studying the human body in class. Dr. Vashna Sarabhi, actually, is your lovely. You will be studying the working department in class. Dr. Sobhna Sarabhi, my administrator, you will be, you will be studying how the body chemically reacts and goes. We have Dr. Sarabhi, sir. You will be reading in the law because he is the director. And uh, we will also be recommending hospital very soon today. And so we will be very important for all of you when you go in the uh, next year when you have clinical postings. And we will then understand what is said to you that this is the best high school hospital you can have. Dr. Sona Yadav, she will be working as a model here. And she will also be seen by you in the hospitals, uh, working day and night for patients. Uh, with that, we have a very senior faculty sitting here. Chawan sir, Nandu sir is there, Sanjay Mohan is there. Then we also have Kiri Jawadar, who will be very helpful to you in the research activities of the program and most lesser. So, with this, uh, a few things I am going to allow it because Dean sir will be addressing after me. Uh, the most important thing I would like to reiterate here is uh, up till now, till the standard. When you have studied, you have like more on tuition classes. And uh, your mind is made up for tuition classes. So there is something very different here. That different thing is that you have to be a doctor. And to be a doctor, you will have to actually see the patients, touch the patients, uh, and get to know their feelings, get to know them. So humanities are also very important when you are becoming a doctor. So that old habit of um, having tuitions should be shed off as early as possible. So here, one more thing which you have to understand is that people generally don't stay exposed to the field you are. So reading, understanding, and getting to the broken mechanisms are very important. Because if you read and work on those, on understanding that particular subject, they don't care that you don't have to read much. You will be having all the things assimilated in your mind. So, that is the most important fact which I would like to reiterate you. This is how things will be. In addition, you have to be a complete human being. You just can't be a doctor. Because doctors then become the poorest of people. Because whenever they meet the persons, they are always going on discussing about their patients and their patients and their patients. So, then many doctors, what happens is that they bore each other so nicely, that they marry each other. So that is, that is how the things are. But then the most important thing here is that you get patients who can be the best of lawyers, best of judges, maybe one day a prime minister may come for treatment. So in that particular situation, you should be able to talk to them in their particular languages. So it's not just your language you have to learn. You have to learn their language also. So you have to read them. You have to be a complete human being, and then uh, you will have a lot of activities here. Academic activities are plenty, research activities are plenty in this college. Sports is one of the uh, forte of this college. We have a fantastic large stadium. We have a badminton court. Dr. Tarkin will be helpful for you in that particular, in that particular case. 
We have a lot of activities going on. Scientific conferences, students take a conference here, which is the international conference which comes here. So you have a lot of activities to grow in, to grow as a personality. You have a lot here. You place all the that and you will cherish this time. Live in the present so that you can cherish this when you when you pass up and go. Now, as you get us to the modern side, I told you that if you face any problem from any of the seniors, we are here open, they can always come to us. But they are very, very uh, cooperative. They have organized this particular good program for you. So take care of that also. Uh, so I welcome you again to this particular conference, which I tell you, which I launch the best college which you can get attention to. Welcome. Thank you. Moving ahead, during COVID 19 pandemic, the entire public load was on Cecil General Hospitals. In order to curb the campus load, our respected dean, Dr. Mubika Rambe, sir, along with our former dean, Dr. Ajay Jamal Rambe, sir, got the new 11 story hospital building ready for COVID 19 patients in a very short time of time. It was under the guidance of Dr. Mudika Rambe, sir, that the hospital turned from 200 deaths to 520 deaths. Numerous clinical trials were held at Sussex General Hospitals under the observation of our new sir. Presently, COVID 19 vaccination program was also held under his guidance. So, it has been determined that the veteran of our college is a hospital. We are really grateful for that, sir. We request you to guide our students with your healthy thoughts. Vice Dean of the Rajesh Pandita, sir. and my dear students. At the very outset, happy like congratulations to all of you. It's a proud moment for you that you have gained admission to a medical college. You have made yourself and your family members, particularly your parents, proud. Definitely. And you're working in the community. If people come from out there for a medical student, you get that respect. And that will be government medical college. And above all, the BJ government medical college. This is one of the premier institutes in the country. Students aspire to get admission into this college. And you have gained admission into this college. I know that many of you almost Nearly about 70 80 percent of new people they come from middle class families. And some of you might be having problems in paying the fees also. Don't worry, we have so many programs to support your fees also. We have various scholarships and we have tied up with so many NGOs, so many IT companies, so many individuals. To name a few, Cybage is there, uh, Persistence is there. There are so many other industries They help the students to pay their fees. Not only the fees, even the mess fees also. So if you have any problem, you can come to us anytime. Now, this college, which was 
start, started as a medical school way back in the year 1871 with support from Sir Bairam J. Jijibwa as BJ Medical School. And later on, it turned out into a BJ Medical College in the year 1946. And since then, this has seen so many phases in its life. And this medical college, the, it is not the structure that, that makes the institution, it is the people who occupy these institutions, who occupy these buildings, people like you and me. On the same desk where you are sitting now, so many eminent scholars, so many eminent medical professionals were once upon a time were sitting here. And they are now famous not only in this Pune city, not only in Maharashtra, not only in Kandri, all over the world. And we also expect the same thing from you. And you are going to be one of them. You are going to be our colleagues in just a matter of time. And nowadays, those students who have come, you must have come from various other institutions in the state, even beyond that. So many even other online admissions are there. And naturally, your parents, you also might be worried about the ragging. I assure you that there is no ragging in this institute. If at all you face the problem, you can come to me or you can talk to any of our teachers. We have an anti ragging committee. We have a parent teachers association where our faculty and your parents would be interacting. Your parents will regularly come to know what's happening, how many people are progressing, how many problems. So we are always there to support it. We are not only teachers, we are your guidance here. This institute, as I was saying, it has seen many phases in its life. First of the foremost is the research activities. This institute is very well known for its research activities. We have the Vibrant Research Society. We have Johns Hopkins uh, Research Program. Poverty Program is there. Apart from that, for the students also, we have the Indian, Council, uh, Indian Medical Council Research Organization. It supports the student research in the form of students uh, research programs. So many of our students every year they get these scholarships. Apart from that, we have various other associations are there. They also support this. And uh, one example is in this uh, medical college, the respira uh, every year is uh, being held. Now this respira activity is a research activity, scientific activity, which is the concept is by the students. It is organized by the students. Even for finance, everything they manage. I think this will be one of its time in this thing. But such is the talent and skill of our students. Not only for the, I mean, uh, the associations, but various others. We have the seminars, workshops, conferences, which are regularly being conducted. And uh, not only this, Research on scientific activities, this institute is known for extracurricular activities. And it is known more for the extracurricular activities. The students they conduct various programs, various days are there. Marathi day is there, Vedanta is there, Rose Day, this day, that day. Almost every day that they observe where they celebrate here, they enjoy it. I think this stage is well known for the dramas, drama competitions, for the singing competition, and various other cultural programs. We have very, very vibrant uh, cultural activity we have. I know that you people are sitting very quiet now, and after two months, I can make out the change. Because such is the atmosphere in this, in this campus. The students, I want to thank those senior students who have organized this. So meticulously they have organized. Three cheers to them. 
please clap. When the life was going on like this, then the pandemic struck. Pandemic COVID nineteen. For the last one year, the life has changed. I don't think there is anyone on this earth who is left untouched. Everyone's life has been affected. I think the same was for you, which we also, including your studies, including your admission process, and the way that you are sitting now. It has changed over time. Initially, we are we are finding it difficult, but we are also changed, and we are changed. When other institutes, when other spheres of life can hold their activity, it is this hospital we cannot, because this is a 24 by 7 activity going on. It never stops. When the other medical practitioners, especially private practitioners, private hospitals. They have shut their shops. They have gone home, but it was the hospital which was the last call for these patients. Initially, we did not know. We missed everyone on this earth. I would say that what is going to happen? What is the treatment protocol? Which is the best one? Anything was in the trial phase. Even today also. So in that situation. It is our doctors, it is our nurses, it is our staff, which supported, which stood firm and provided treatment to thousands and thousands of COVID patients, and they have saved lives also. So this has been appreciated at various levels. From the community, from the media, from the politicians, from the government. Otherwise, usually the government and the colleges they are in the news for wrong reasons. But it is to their credit, the staff of Sasun Hospital that we were able to, and still we have patients. When the Jamna Hospital and other hospitals have closed down, the last stop is the Sasun Hospital. When the pandemic also, the deliveries they never stop. Delivery of people, women are not brought in for deliveries, accident cases, the heart attack cases, for various reasons. We have one of the best uh, neonatal ICU in this city. So what I want to assure you people that you have the best clinical material that is available, so that you can. Acquiring skills, for gaining knowledge, the medical knowledge you require, the bodies and the patients. So don't forget that you are studying in a government college where the education fees, even if you are paying full fees, that is highly subsidized, and it is the tax-based money that through which your education is subsidized. The bodies that we are going to dissect within a few days, they were once walking on this earth. They had life in them. You need to respect them. The patients who come to you, if there are no patients, what are you going to learn? The patients who come to you, you have to advance. You need to treat them with passion. The patients who are coming to this hospital are not only from Pune. They are from various parts in the western region of Maharashtra. Because they have got that faith, they have got faith in the doctors who are treating them. Our treatment facilities, our laboratory facilities, we have upgraded. Once I remember the medical council of India inspector, we had come for inspection. We took him to the hospital in the general ward. So he was asking, "Is it a special ward?" He was from Bihar. 
So even our general wards also are so well provided, so clean that it looks like a uh, special one. And other things, my colleagues have already told you that your hostel facilities, other things, library facilities. We, we have tried our best to provide you the best uh, accommodation. All of you will get accommodation in the hostel. If there are any problems, initially I have, I don't foresee that there will be some adjustment problems will be there. Because the syllabus that we were used to study earlier so far, up to our 10th standard, and now the medical curriculum, there's a complete change. We are used to score 99%, 98%. Here we struggle to score 60, 70%. And our faculty assure you that they are the eminent faculty. They are one of the well known faculty who are on the national boards of various teaching curriculum and other things. At the end, my best wishes to all of you, and I want to see all of you passing out in five and a half years, without any exception. Thank you. I would like I would now like to present the vote of thanks. Firstly, I would like to thank our respected dean, Dr. Murlidhar Tambe sir, our deputy dean, Dr. Rajesh Karakarke sir, Dr. Ajay Taure sir, Dr. Anjali Patil ma'am, Dr. Varsha Sarode ma'am, Dr. Somnath Salgar sir, and Dr. Sopna Yadav ma'am for their welcoming words. I would like to thank Dr. Swati Shama and Dr. Harish Tata sir for guiding us now and then for organizing this event. I would like to thank all the dignitaries present of the dais for their valuable presence. Also, I would like to thank Student Council 2019-2020 for organizing such a welcoming event for our students. I would like to thank our technical team for organizing the YouTube live for our parents as they want to come over here to attend this event. I would like to thank the backstage team and all other members working behind the scenes to make this event fruitful for you. Lastly, I would like to thank you all, my dear students and their parents, for being patient and good audience for today's programs. Thank you. I now request everyone to stand up for the national conference. Thank you. 
Students, please remind your parents about the parents' teachers and take the answer as we hear. Go and do Okay, so now let's go ahead with the program. We will be introducing you to the other aspects of our college. Starting with something we all PGIs are very proud of. Lift for upliftment. LFU is a non governmental organization founded by the students of PGCIC on 14 December 2015. LFU is the pioneer in free coaching for need, for the needy and underprivileged students. I now call upon Kiran Kogi and his team to bring you about LFU. लिफ्ट फॉर अपलिफ्टमेंट म्हणजे काय आहे थोडस सांगतो मी तुम्हाला तर ज्या वेळेस तुमचं जसं ऍडमिशन झालं एमबीबीएस ला तसं भरपूर मुलांचं कसं राहतं की जे इलिजिबल असतात म्हणजे एमबीबीएस त्यांना भेटू शकतं म्हणजे अकॅडमिकली विचार असतात पण आर्थिक परिस्थिती वाईट असतात कोचिंग क्लासेस अफोर्ड करू शकत नाही लिफ्ट 